Whiteboards are a great way to share ideas, brainstorm, and develop innovative concepts. Taking care of a whiteboard is just as important as any other tool you might use. We're going to take a look at a brainstorm and discuss some of the things that are happening as the ideas are generated. A post-it on a whiteboard, of course, sometimes that happens. They have glue attached to the back of it and can cause an issue with erasure. Not all dry erase pens are created equally. The most important part of a dry erase pen is its ability to lay a pigment down and evaporate the carrier, the liquid that carries the pigment to the board, as quickly as possible. In the excitement of a brainstorm, sometimes the ideas change faster than the ink has a chance to dry. This can cause a smudge. Low quality markers take a long time to dry and are often one of the biggest reasons for ghosting or permanent smudges. Learning how to take care of your tools is an important part of any business. Whiteboards are no different. Capturing ideas so the team can grow and learn is very important. When it comes time to clean the board, sometimes there can be problems. Your choice of eraser is very important. The goal is to collect and remove the dust from the board. These are guaranteed to clean products, so let's find out how you should do it to get the very best results. This brainstorm was conducted on porcelain, a very familiar whiteboard surface. We've reproduced the result on EVS presentation surface. The process of cleaning a whiteboard is exactly the same, regardless of your product choice. Step 1. Remove all dry erase dust from the surface. A paper towel is fine. Step 2. For stubborn stains, use a spray window cleaner. With a clean paper towel, wipe the surface down until all dust is removed. When the paper towel has no discoloration, you're finished. Occasionally there will be difficult problems like residual tape adhesive. These can be easily removed with a 90% solution of isopropyl alcohol. Allow the board to dry thoroughly and then the final step is to test it with a dry erase marker. Allow the markings to dry and then wipe clean. If there's any residual dust or ghosting, repeat the steps. As you've seen, using the right tools is important. Make sure that your whiteboard area is set up properly with the correct tools available and your next meeting will go along beautifully. Using a whiteboard is a natural thing to do. Making sure you have the right tools is important. Here are a few tips to keep your whiteboard in tip-top shape. Never store your dry erase marker standing up. The solvent will dry out and the pen will not perform properly. Your whiteboard is an important part of your business. Make sure all members of your team understand how to take care of the product, including your custodial and janitorial staff. Meetings are an important part of your business function. Make sure that they go without a hitch. Give the board a quick clean before you start. All you want to do is to make sure that there's no residual dust or things that you can't see that might cause imperfections to show up in your markings and notes. Just takes a moment. You'll be happy you did. Dry erase markers leave behind dust. Use a microfiber cloth to collect and remove it. If permanent marker ends up on your dry erase board, it's not a problem. In this demonstration, we will draw on the board with a permanent marker, and as you can see, it does not come off. Simply use your dry erase marker and scribble over the permanent marker. The solvent in the dry erase marker will remove the permanent ink on the whiteboard. Allow it to dry and then wipe it clean. 90% plus isopropyl alcohol can be used to remove stubborn stains. Dry erase markers are easy to use. Just remember that they need time to dry, otherwise the ink is still wet and will smudge. 30 seconds is enough time for most markers to dry properly. Here's a quick test you can try. Make three markings and erase the first one immediately. Allow the second a moment to dry and the third one allow for 30 seconds. It should come clean. If not, your eraser may be dirty or of poor quality. Microfiber cloths are perfect. They'll collect the dust. Always remove your dry erase markings with a clean, dry cloth. Spraying water or solvent directly on your dry erase markings will create a problem. 
As you can see, the pigment has been spread over the entire surface of the board and is now going to take a little bit more time to clean. Just use glass cleaner to bring the board back to its original condition. It's easy to keep your whiteboard in tip-top shape. Follow these steps and happy whiteboarding!